During World War II, Nazi Germany engaged in a policy of deliberate maltreatment of Soviet prisoners of war POWs, in contrast to their treatment of British and American POWs. This resulted in some 3.3 to 3.5 million deaths. During Operation Barbarossa, the Axis invasion of the Soviet Union, and the subsequent German Soviet War, millions of Red Army prisoners of war were taken. Many were executed, arbitrarily in the field by the German forces or handed over to the SS to be shot, under the Commissar Order. Most, however, died during the death marches from the front lines or under inhumane conditions in German prisoner of war camps and concentration camps. Death toll It is estimated that at 3.3 million Soviet POWs died in Nazi custody, out of 5.7 million. This figure represents a total of 57% of all Soviet POWs and may be contrasted with 8,300 out of 231,000 British and U.S. prisoners, or 3.6%. About 5% of the Soviet prisoners who died were Jews. The most deaths took place between June 1941 and January 1942, when the Germans killed an estimated 2.8 million Soviet POWs primarily through deliberate starvation, exposure, and summary execution. A million at most had been released, most of whom were so called volunteers Hillswillage for often compulsory auxiliary service in the Wehrmacht. 500,000 had fled or were liberated, the remaining 3.3 million had perished as POWs. The figure of 3.3 million POW dead is based on German figures and analysis. Data published in Russia presents a different view of their POW dead. Viktor Zemskov estimated Soviet POW deaths at 2.3 million. He published statistics that put Soviet POW losses at 2,471,000. 5,734,000 were captured, 821,000 were released for German military service, 72,000 escaped, and 2,371,000 liberated. Of the 823,000 POWs released for service in the German military forces, 212,400 were killed or missing. 436,600 were returned to the USSR and imprisoned and 180,000 remained in Western countries after the war. Russian military historian Grigory F. Krivoshev maintains POW and MIA losses of the combat forces were actually 1.783 million. According to Krivoshev, the higher figure of 3.3 million POW dead includes reservists not on active strength, civilians, and military personnel reported missing who were recovered during the course of the war. By September 1941, the mortality rate among Soviet POWs was in the order of 1% per day. According to the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum USHMM, by the winter of 1941, "...starvation and disease resulted in mass death of unimaginable proportions." This deliberate starvation, despite food being available, led many desperate prisoners to resort to acts of cannibalism was Nazi policy and was all in accordance with the hunger plan developed by the Reich Minister of Food Herbert Back. For the Germans, Soviet POWs were expendable, they consumed calories needed by others and, unlike Western POWs, were considered to be subhuman. Topic. Commissar Order The Commissar Order German, Kommissarbefehl, was a written order given by the German High Command on 6 June 1941, prior to the beginning of Operation Barbarossa German invasion of the Soviet Union. It demanded that any Soviet political commissar identified among captured troops be shot immediately. Those prisoners who could be identified as thoroughly Bolshevized or as active representatives of the Bolshevist ideology were also to be executed. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> General internment system for Soviet prisoners of war. In the summer and autumn of 1941, vast numbers of Soviet prisoners were captured in about a dozen large encirclements. Due to their rapid advance into the Soviet Union and an anticipated quick victory, the Germans did not want to ship these prisoners to Germany. Under the administration of the Wehrmacht, the prisoners were processed, guarded, forced marched, or transported in open railcars to locations mostly in the occupied Soviet Union, Germany, and occupied Poland. Much like comparable events, such as the Pacific War's Bataan Death March in 1942, the treatment of prisoners was brutal, without much in the way of supporting logistics. 
Soviet prisoners of war were stripped of their supplies and clothing by poorly equipped German troops when the cold weather set in, this resulted in death for the prisoners. Most of the camps for Soviet POWs were simply open areas fenced off with barbed wire and watchtowers with no inmate housing. These meager conditions forced the crowded prisoners to live in holes they had dug for themselves, which were exposed to the elements. Beatings and other abuse by the guards were common, and prisoners were malnourished, often consuming only a few hundred calories or less per day. Medical treatment was non-existent and an international Red Cross offer to help in 1941 was rejected by Hitler. Some of the Soviet POWs were also experimented on. In one such case, Dr. Heinrich Berning from Hamburg University starved prisoners to death as famine experiments. In another instance, a group of prisoners at Jatomir were shot using dum-dum bullets. Topic. Prisoner of war camps The camps established specially for Soviet POWs were called Russenlager Russian camp. The Allied regulars kept by Germany were usually treated in accordance with the 1929 Geneva Convention on Prisoners of War. Although the Soviet Union was not a signatory, Germany was, and Article 82 of the Convention required signatories to treat all captured enemy soldiers, as between the belligerents who are parties thereto. Russenlager conditions were often even worse than those commonly experienced by prisoners in regular concentration camps. Such camps included Offlog IVC, Allied officers from Western countries at Kolditz Castle were forbidden to share Red Cross packages with starving Soviet prisoners. Offlog XIIID, in July 1941 a new compound was set up in Offlog XIIIA for higher-ranking Soviet military officers captured during Operation Barbarossa. It was closed in April 1942 and the surviving officers many had died during the winter due to an epidemic were transferred to other camps. Stalag 324 to 28,444 Soviet POWs were held at this camp near Grady. Stalag 328 to 41,012 Soviet POWs were held at this camp near Lwów. Stalag 350 Z. According to a 1944 Soviet report, 43,000 captured Red Army personnel were either killed or died from diseases and starvation at this camp near Riga. The prisoners were used for the construction of Salispil's concentration camp in October 1941. Stalag 359, an epidemic of dysentery led to the execution of some 6,000 Red Army prisoners between September 21-28, 1941 3,261 of them on the first day, conducted by the police battalion 306 of the Orningspolizei. By mid-1942, about 20,000 Soviet POWs had perished there from hunger, disease and executions. The camp was then redesignated as the Paniatawa Concentration Camp for Jews the main site of the Operation Harvest Festival massacre in 1943. Stalag IB, tens of thousands of prisoners died in the camp, the vast majority of them Soviets. Stalag EB, the construction of the second camp, Lager Ost, started in June 1941 to accommodate the huge numbers of Soviet prisoners taken in Operation Barbarossa. In November 1941 a typhoid fever epidemic broke out in the Lager Ost which went on until March 1942. A total of 38,383 Soviet POWs were held Stalag 2B, Stalag IIIA, mortality rates of Soviet prisoners were extremely high compared to the POWs of other nations, including around 2,000 to 2,500 Soviets who died in a typhus outbreak during the winter of 1941-42. While non-Soviet prisoners were buried with military honors in individual graves at the camp cemetery, Soviet dead were buried anonymously in mass graves. Stalag IIIC, when Soviet prisoners captured during Operation Barbarossa arrived in July 1941 they were held in separate zones and suffered severe conditions and disease. The majority of these prisoners up to 12, were killed, starved to death or died from disease. Stalag IVA, in June to September 1941 Soviet prisoners from Operation Barbarossa were placed in another camp. Conditions were appalling, and starvation, epidemics and ill treatment took a heavy toll of lives. The dead Soviet prisoners were buried in mass graves. Stalag IVB, in July 1941 about 11,000 Soviet soldiers, and some officers, arrived. 
By April 1942 only 3,279 remained, the rest had died from malnutrition and a typhus epidemic caused by the deplorable sanitary conditions. Their bodies were buried in mass graves. After April 1942 more Soviet prisoners arrived and died just as rapidly. At the end of 1942, 10,000 reasonably healthy Soviet prisoners were transferred to work in Belgian coal mines, the rest, suffering from tuberculosis, continued to die at the rate of 10 to 20 per day. Stalag IVH Stalag 304, in 1942 at least 1,000 prisoners were weeded out by the Gestapo and shot. Stalag VA, during 1941–1942 many Soviet POWs arrived but they were kept in separate enclosures and received much harsher treatment than the other prisoners. Thousands of them died of malnutrition and disease. Stalag VC, over 2,000 Soviet prisoners from Operation Barbarossa arrived in the summer of 1941. Conditions were appalling and starvation, epidemics and ill treatment took a heavy toll of lives. The dead were buried in mass graves. Stalag VK Stalag 326, between 40,000 and 60,000 prisoners died, mostly buried in three mass graves. A Soviet war cemetery is still in existence, containing about 200 named graves. Stalag VA, during five years about 1,000 prisoners died at the camp, over 800 of them Soviets mostly officers. At the end of the war there were still 27 Soviet army generals in the camp who had survived the mistreatment that they, like all Soviet prisoners, had been subjected to. The new prisoners were inspected upon arrival by local Munich Gestapo agents, some 484 were found to be undesirable, and immediately sent to concentration camps and murdered. Stalag VIIIC, 29,436 prisoners were held at this camp. Conditions were appalling and starvation, epidemics and ill treatment took a heavy toll of lives. By early 1942 the survivors had been transferred to other camps. Stalag VIIIE Stalag VIIIC, Z, the first Soviets arrived in July 1941. A total of 57,545 Soviet POWs were held at the camp. Stalag VIIIF Stalag 318, Stalag 344, 108,471 Soviet POWs were held at this camp near Lambsdorff. Stalag XB Stalag 11D Stalag 321, in July 1941, over 10,000 Soviet army officers were imprisoned in a new sub-camp of Stalag 11B. Thousands of them died in the winter of 1941–42 as the result of a typhoid fever epidemic. Stalag 11C, in July 1941, about 20,000 Soviet prisoners captured during Operation Barbarossa arrived, they were housed in the open while huts were being built. Some 14,000 POWs died during the winter of 1941–42. In late 1943 the POW camp was closed and the entire facility became Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. Topic. Weeding out program In the Weeding Out Actions of 1941 42, the Gestapo secret police further identified Communist Party and state officials, commissars, academic scholars, Jews, and other undesirable or dangerous individuals who had survived the commissar order selections, and transferred them to concentration camps, where they were summarily executed. At Stalag VA at Moosburg, Major Karl Meinl objected to these executions, but the SS including Karl von Eberstein intervened, Meinl was demoted to reserve, and the killing continued. In all, between June 1941 and May 1944 about 10% of all Soviet POWs were turned over to the SS Todinkofferbande concentration camp organization or the Einsatzgruppen death squads and murdered. Einsatzgruppen killings included the Babi Yar massacres where Soviet POWs were among 70,000 to 120,000 people executed between 1941 and 1943 and the Poneri massacre that included the execution of some 7,500 Soviet POWs in 1941 among about 100,000 murdered there between 1941 and 1944. Soviet prisoners of war in German concentration and extermination camps <inaudible> 
Between 140,000 and 500,000 Soviet prisoners of war died or were executed in Nazi concentration camps. Most of those executed were killed by shooting but some were gassed. Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp, from about 15,000 Soviet POWs who were brought to Auschwitz I for work, only 92 remained alive at the last roll call. About 3,000 more were killed by being shot or gassed immediately after arriving. Out of the first 10,000 brought to work in 1941, 9,000 died in the first five months. A group of about 600 Soviet prisoners were gassed in the first Zyklon B experiments on September 3, 1941. In December 1941, a further 900 Soviet POWs were murdered by means of gas. In March 1941, the SS chief Heinrich Himmler ordered the construction of a large camp for 100,000 Soviet POWs at Birkenau, in close proximity to the main camp. Most of the Soviet prisoners were dead by the time Birkenau was reclassified as the Auschwitz II concentration camp in March 1942. Buchenwald concentration camp, 8,483 Soviet POWs were selected in 1941–1942 by three Dresden Gestapo officers and sent to the camp for immediate liquidation by a gunshot to the back of the neck, the infamous Jenikschuss using a purpose-built facility. Kelmno extermination camp, the victims murdered at the Kelmno killing center included several hundred Poles and Soviet POWs. Dachau concentration camp, some 500 Soviet POWs were executed by a firing squad in Dachau. Flossenburg concentration camp, more than 1,000 Soviet POWs had been executed in Flossenburg by the end of 1941, executions continued sporadically up to 1944. The POWs at one of the sub-camps staged a failed uprising and mass escape attempt on May 1, 1944. The SS also established a special camp for 2,000 Soviet POWs within Flossenburg itself. Gross Rosen concentration camp, 65,000 Soviet POWs were killed by feeding them only a thin soup of grass, water, and salt for six months. In October 1941 the SS transferred about 3,000 Soviet POWs to Gross Rosen for execution by shooting. Hinzert concentration camp, a group of 70 POWs were told that they would undergo a medical examination, but instead were injected with potassium cyanide, a deadly poison. Majdanek concentration camp, the first transport directed toward Majdanek consisted of 5,000 Soviet POWs arriving in the latter half of 1941, they soon died of starvation and exposure. Executions were also conducted there by the shooting of prisoners in trenches. mauthausen gusen concentration camp, following the outbreak of the Soviet-German war the camps started to receive a large number of Soviet POWs, most of them were kept in huts separated from the rest of the camp. Soviet POWs were a major part of the first groups to be gassed in the newly built gas chamber in early 1942, at least 2,843 of them were murdered in the camp. According to the USHMM, so many POWs were shot that the local population complained that their water supply had been contaminated. The rivers and streams near the camp ran red with blood. Neuengamme concentration camp, according to the testimony of Wilhelm Barr, an ex-medical orderly, during the trial against Bruno Tesch, 200 Soviet POWs were gassed by Prussic acid in 1942. Sachsenhausen concentration camp, Soviet POWs were victims of the largest part of the executions that took place. Thousands of them were murdered immediately after arriving at the camp, including 9,090 executed between August 31 and October 2, 1941. Among those who died there was Lieutenant Yakov Jugashvili, the elder son of the Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin either by suicide or shot. Sobibur extermination camp, Soviet POWs of Jewish ethnicity were among hundreds of thousands people gassed at Sobibor. A group of captive Soviet officers led by 2nd Lieutenant Alexander Petrsky organized a successful mass breakout from Sobibor, after which the SS closed and dismantled the camp. Topic. Soviet prisoners of war in German slave labor system In January 1942, Hitler authorized better treatment of Soviet POWs because the war had bogged down, and German leaders decided to use prisoners for forced labor on a large scale see forced labor under German rule during World War II. Their number increased from barely 150,000 in 1942, to the peak of 631,000 in the summer of 1944. 
Many were dispatched to the coal mines between July 1st and November 10th, 1943. 27,638 Soviet POWs died in the Ruhr area alone, while others were sent to Krupp, Daimler-Benz or other companies where they provided labor while often being slowly worked to death. The largest employers of 1944 were mining 160,000, agriculture 138,000 and the metal industry 131,000. No less than 200,000 prisoners died during forced labor. The organization TOTE was a civil and military engineering group in Germany eponymously named for its founder Fritz TOTE. The organization was responsible for a wide range of engineering projects both in pre-World War II Germany, and in Germany itself and occupied territories from France to the Soviet Union during the war, and became notorious for using forced labor. Most of the so-called volunteer Soviet POW workers were consumed by the organization TOTE. The period from 1942 until the end of the war had approximately 1.4 million laborers in the service of the organization TOTE. Overall, 1% were Germans rejected from military service and 1.5% were concentration camp prisoners, the rest were prisoners of war and compulsory laborers from occupied countries. All non-Germans were effectively treated as slaves and many did not survive the work or the war. Topic. See also Prisoner of war Soviet repressions against former prisoners of war German war crimes War crimes of the Wehrmacht Myth of the clean Wehrmacht Commissar order Rusthof Cemetery Severity order Topic. References Topic. Literature Otto, Reinhard, Keller, Rolf, Nagel, Jens. Sojetisch Kriegsgefangene in Deutschem Gewahrsam 1941-1945, Zalen und Dimensionen. PDF. Wirtelgeschäft für Zeitgeschichte in German 4, 557-602. Bloodlands, Europe between Hitler and Stalin by Timothy Snyder Keine Kameraden, die Wehrmacht und die Sojetischen Kriegsgefangenen, 1941-1945 by Christian Streit The Policies of Genocide, Jews and Soviet Prisoners of War in Nazi Germany by Gerhard Hirschfeld and Wolfgang J. Momsen External links Nazi persecution of Soviet prisoners of war at the Holocaust Encyclopedia Images tagged with Soviet POW from Yad Vashem Sojetisch Kriegsgefangene in German Testimonies concerning Soviet POWs in German captivity Chronicles of Terror collection